Hi guys, Miss Bitzer here, coming to you live from Miss Bitzer's house in Miss Bitzer's bathroom. So, we're going to look at polymer clay, how you make beads um, and different types of pendants using polymer clay. This is polymer clay. It will come in a block form. Um, it seems kind of soft. It will work a lot better if you start to handle it. It needs a little bit of heat from your hands or if you're by the heater, you can go stick it near the heater or a hair dryer for like a few minutes, just turn it on. And heat it up, okay? I've already heated these pieces up so they're kind of already nice and soft. Okay, as you start to work, if you notice that your clay is like getting cracked or anything, take a little bit of this baby oil and put it on your hands, okay? When I say a little bit, I mean like a drop of it. Do not douse yourself in, in baby oil, like a drop or two of baby oil on your hand. Okay, kind of rub it into your hands, and then as you are working with the clay, you can rub some of that oil into the clay, okay? Again, do not go overboard with the baby oil, okay? You do not want your pieces of polymer clay to be soaked in oil, okay? All right, so there's a couple things you can do with the polymer clay. You can make beads, and you can make these beads lots of different ways. You can just take small pieces of the clay and put them together. Let me say I wanted to make a bead that was like very colorful, okay? I could simply take a few colors and then with my fingers, mold them together and squish them, kind of roll them into a ball. And boom, I have a bead, okay? Just like so, okay? There is a, a polymer bead. Um, of course, I would want to take some sort of needle, tapestry needle perhaps, and poke a hole through my bead, okay? Making sure that I did it on both sides so that it kind of retains its shape, okay? And now I can string this onto a necklace or a bracelet. Okay. These polymer beads will go into a microwave oven and cook for about 30 minutes at 230 degrees and they will get hard. And then we will um, spray them with varnish and they will be shiny. Okay, so that's that's step one. That's that's easy, easy peasy. Put a few pieces together, roll it in your hand, and you have a bead. Okay. Um, another way you can do it. Or another thing you can do, I should say, is take a piece of the clay and roll it out with a rolling pin, okay? I would use one of those small rollers that are over with all the rest of the tools. I wouldn't use a gigantic rolling pin for this considering they're so small pieces. There are small little hand rollers. I'm gonna use this tiny little pretend kitchen uh, rolling pin that is my daughter's. Okay, and we're just gonna roll it. So they roll out a sheet, okay? Again, if you're getting cracks, a tiny little bit baby oil will go a long way. Okay. Rolled out like a little nice flat piece. I'm going to do that with a couple other colors here. Okay, again, if the, the stuff is really hard, you may want to give it a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. That little bit of heat made it nice and soft. Okay. Do the same thing again with my rolling pin. Don't use a big gigantic rolling pin. Just get one of those small little hand rollers. Okay. And because the tables are pretty dirty and dusty, I would definitely do this on um, one of those wedge boards that I have at the table. Okay. Or even like a piece of wax paper. So I have, now I have two, two nice flat pieces. I got my purple flat piece here, got my white flat piece here. I'm gonna do like maybe one more. Let's see here, I'm gonna do maybe this green. It's pretty bright. Okay, again, if you're having trouble, the clay likes to be warm. So get your hands on it, get the heater on it, get the hair dryer on it, okay? 
last one. All right, now I have three flat pieces, and I'm going to let's see, put, I'm going to roll them up like a fruit roll up here. I'm going to lay them on top of each other. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, and yeah, now I'm going to roll them up like I'm making a wrap, like a chicken wrap, okay, or like a burrito, making a burrito, polymer clay burrito. Okay, I can see there's a little breakage here, not a big deal. Just gonna kind of mold it together. Okay, this clay is not as malleable as actual clay from the earth. Okay, polymer clay is in fact plastic, plastic man-made material. Hmm? Okay. Hit it with a little heat. All right, now I have this perfect rolled up polymer clay burrito. Okay, don't eat it, it's not edible. All right, next I'm just going to get some, a knife. You can get a clay knife would work just fine. Get a clay knife, something sharp. I'm gonna use this kitchen knife. Okay, and I'm going to cut. This is just another way to make beads. And now look how pretty that is. Okay, it's like a super duper fruit roll up bead. Okay, so I'm gonna cut. And you know, now I have a different, a different way of making a bead. Now you could and you can leave them flat hmm, like this, or you could simply cut one and then if you really like that pattern, but you want it to be a circle because you want it to be more of like a rounded bead or a different shape, you know, you can, it, you know, it's soft and you can manipulate it how you want to manipulate it. So say you wanted to make it more round and you can shape it with your hands, but still keeping that like swirled kind of design in there. Okay. So that's the more advanced method rather than just taking a whole bunch of chunks and rolling it into the ball. If you're looking to make like more of a pattern, Okay, that is how that sort of thing is achieved. Okay, um, so the sky's the limit with these beads and you can do all sorts of things. You can find tons and tons of tutorials on the internet of different ways that you can create designs within your beads. This is just the most basic way of using polymer clay. You can use this to make pendants. You can, you know, put pieces together and make little you know, flower pictures. I'll show you some examples after the video's over of, of ways people have used polymer clay to make jewelry. Okay, but the basics are, this is just the basics. Make sure you get things hot, a tiny little bit of oil if you need to make things softer. Make sure you're using a tapestry needle or something to poke a hole so you can actually string the beads on and um, otherwise just play around with it and see what you can do, see if you like it, okay? So go ahead and do that now. The following images are made out of uh, earth clay instead of the polymer clay, just to give you some more examples of what something would look like if it was done with the stoneware clay rather than the polymer clay.